is with your your air air your air like range. All right, either way, whatever. I'll get to this. Um, so let's pretend here's your function. If you need to identify the transformations, all right, a couple things. First, let's identify this three. So I look at this, I say, all right, is three outside of the function or inside the function? And in this case, you can say it's outside. So I look at my notes and I say, OK, that is going to be a vertical stretch of three. Now, here are some issues that people come in with. First of all, I am OK with you guys not writing vertical stretch, OK? Because what you guys are about to do is you're going to be writing this a lot. So if you just want to do vertical stretch like that, that's fine. Please do not use VS then for vertical shift, OK? You're going to need to write out the shift so I can see that. But there's a couple things. On quizzes, people will say, oh, that's a shift, or it's a vertical shift. Yeah, that's true. But if you're not telling me what it's a factor of, then I, I can't give you full credit for that. Okay, So you need to make sure you tell me vertical shift of a factor of 3. All right? Or some people say, you know, like, um, people will say, oh, it's a, you know, um, uh, they'll do a, it's a stretch, stretch of 3. Yeah, is it vertical or is it horizontal? There's a difference. All right? So make sure you're detailed there. The next thing is I notice my other value that's outside of my function, which is the plus 1. So I think, oh, outside of 1, that's my d. Since it's positive, that means it's going to shift the graph up 1. Right? Then I look at my last transformation, which is a plus 1. But that's under the radical. So I know under the radical is horizontal. And I also know that's kind of opposite, so that's going to shift my graph one unit to the left. So shift left one. And again, these two go up here all the time. People say, oh, horizontal shift. Yes, it is a horizontal shift. You've got to tell me how far. Oh, it's a vertical shift. Yeah, I know. How far, right? Or people say, shift one. OK, you're right, shift one. Left, right, up, down. Like, Make sure you guys, when you are filling this in, Make sure you're specific. Don't be vague. All right. So now we got to look at the domain or range. And to understand the domain or range, if we looked at the domain or range over here, remember, guys, like there's no discontinuity, so that's a continuous graph. So the domain is basically how far to the left is the graph and how far to the right. And you guys could say the domain here is from 0 to infinity, and the range is basically how low to how high, which is 0 to infinity. So if I look at this graph, I'm not going to ask you guys to graph all these, because hopefully I want you guys to be able to see something. Um, hopefully I want you guys to be able to do this without the graphical really approach. But if I take this graph, if I shift it left one and shift it up one, so originally it was, you know, originally that's the graph, right? Now, as far as a vertical stretch, if you do have to ever graph, I'm not going to grade you on your vertical or stretching or compressions, OK? Just if I ever need to be detailed, you'll have graphing technology with you. So if it's left one up one, you know, it's going to look something like that. So can I detail the domain and range here? Yeah, the domain is now the graph goes to, to negative 1 infinity, and the range is positive 1 to infinity, right? Because it's, it only goes as low as positive 1 in that sense. All right.